Hello everybody, this is Zach with Technology on Call. Thank you for tuning in for this video review of Log Me In Ignition for Android. This is a review of the application that you can get on the Android market. It is um, a great application if you're in the technology industry like I am and have to provide remote support uh, to your clients or friends and family. Um, Log Me In Ignition is an application from Log Me In. It's a um, $29.99 from the market. It's a one-time cost. You don't have to pay a monthly recurring fee or anything like that. And I actually got it on my Android phone first, and when I got my Motorola Zoom, it's tied to my account, so I automatically got it on the Zoom. Um, we'll go ahead and launch the application. This is a great application. I'm so excited that they um, provide it for, or got it out for the, the Zoom. I knew it was going to come. It was just a matter of time. Um, I'll go ahead and list some of the benefits of having uh, Log Me In Ignition over some of the other remote desktop applications. Um, one of the things that's great about it is it works with your existing Log Me In account. So if you're already familiar with Log Me In and you already have an account set up or multiple accounts, Log Me In Ignition works with it. Or if you have friends and family that use Log Me In, you can log in with their information and log into their computers remotely just uh, by using this application. Another one of the uh, great benefits is um, that there's no router configuration. You don't have to set up port forwarding or anything like that. There's no, um, aside from having Log Me In installed on the remote computer, you don't have to have anything else installed. Um, we'll go ahead and, uh, this is my default group right here of the, of the computers I'm, I'm currently viewing for the account that I'm logged into. Um, uh, the screen prior to this is a, um, is where you log into your account. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to one of my computers here. Okay, this is the first screen you'll see after you've logged into the selected computer you want to. It gives you um, some quick hints, um, and I'll go ahead and read these for you. Um, pinch to zoom in and out, uh, one finger to pan the screen or to move the mouse. So there's two ways that you can work this, and um, I'll show you those. Uh, single taps are single clicks, double taps are double clicks, Two finger taps are right clicks, uh, double tap and slide to drag items, uh, two fingers is like the scroll wheel, uh, right click activate right mouse mode on the toolbar which is down here, and change, this, uh, change the scroll mode under settings which is something that you can check out. So we'll go ahead and hit continue to computer. Now this is my computer. As you can see there's the mouse. And no matter where I have my finger on the screen, the mouse kind of mirrors my motion. So whether I'm over here on this side of the mouse, closer to the mouse, down here, it the mouse will just mirror my, my motions, which I love. Um, the other setting that you can use is instead of the mouse moving, you can set it to where the screen moves. This isn't my preferred choice of uh, using it. It's where the, the mouse stays stationary and you move the screen for the mouse. Uh, I used this to begin with and never had tried the mouse moves uh, mode and when I went to mouse moves um, it's a lot easier to use just as far as I'm concerned. So here we are, we're logged into the computer. Um, it's, as you can tell, the connection is, is really well. Um, you can pinch to zoom in and um, see what you're doing here. The responsiveness of this application is really uh, quite impressive. Um, the resolution, I think I have it set at 1024 by 768 right now. Um, but you don't have to tap exactly where the mouse is either. So if you want to close a window, you just move the mouse over here to the X. I'll zoom in so you can see that. There's the mouse. We'll highlight the X and we can just tap over here and it closes out that screen. So, um, let's see, let me zoom out. Okay, and there's some other settings down here at the bottom. There's a keyboard. This will allow you to uh, type. Um, it also brings up some controls at the top, which is up arrow, control, alt, window, um, right click, function uh, keys, and this closes out, of course. Um, you can push this button here to do alt tap, control alt delete. Um, this is the mouse. If you tap it, it goes to right click. If you tap it again, it goes to left click. This is a quick 
Zoom function. If you've used the application for Android devices, for Android phones, you're familiar with that. Um, this is your pan or zoom bar if you prefer to have just a bar over here to zoom with. Um, uh, then that's your settings button. In settings you've got color quality, resolution, network speed, blank screen which will blank the remote screen, lock your keyboard which will lock the remote keyboard, scroll mode moves the mouse, uh, you can show the hints every time you enter, exit mode returns me to the computer list, you can have that to where it exits uh, the ignition, um, notification screen blanking and, and keyboard lock will tell you when those have been when those uh, functions have been enabled or applied. Um, so that's really all there is to it. Um, this doesn't have, you know, I'm using a free version so it's not like I can share files or listen to the remote sounds or anything like that, but um, I haven't tried it out with a pro version yet. Um, I've only tried it out with my free account. So um, it's a great application. Um, I, I love the responsiveness uh, of this application with the Zoom. It's a uh, very fluid um, the screen moves very nicely. It's never crashed on me. Um, it runs like they've had this application out for a year or more. So I'm very impressed with it. I highly recommend it. And at $29.99 one time, the value that you get out of this is, um, in my opinion, one of the best out there. So I hope you guys enjoy. Well, that concludes this uh, review of Log Me and Ignition. If you guys enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a lot more reviews of the Motorola Zoom and applications for it. Um, I did this uh, review for somebody on the channel who actually requested it, so if you guys have an application that I have or something that's free um, or even something that's not too expensive, I'd be happy to review it for you. Just please subscribe to our channel, stay tuned for more videos, and thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.